Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Owls have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Grigsby takes it at the four. Across the 30. Brought down at the 31-yard line. The Owls right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to him. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Rice has got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie, and you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. It's second and goal. Ball on the eight. He laterals. Nice run, and he's brought down. Jones comes away with five yards on the carry. That makes it third and goal. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. You know, this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Cowboys held the final spot in the top 25. They hope this one will impress the voters. And for Oklahoma State, they've won six in a row. And for Roberts, a huge day with four touchdown strikes. In other games, let's take a look at some action from Waco. And for UTEP, the misery index reaches eight with their eight straight loss. And for Howell, more than a workmanlike effort today with four touchdowns. Best way to describe this kid, straight warrior. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Willis from the one. He's tackled at the 35. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Yeah, yeah. 
Run left side. Brought down at the 38 yard line. That makes it second and six. Pressure coming. He steps out at about the 41. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. Good yardage there on the scramble. Well, you have to credit the quarterback here. He's not the most fleet-footed guy on the field, but notice how he has the awareness and the composure to know when to tuck it and go. And as a result, he comes up with a big play. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Slings it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He's taken down at the 28. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. Joseph's the kind of athlete that you can build your entire offense around. His athleticism, second to none. We'll see if they have an answer for him today. Rice is up a score. Green eye, green eye. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. He scrambled. And now the ball is loose. It's picked up. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Man, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Rice is up seven. Here's the halfback. 
He makes his way to about the 32. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Runs in, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he tackles him hard at the 18-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. They'll spread the field with five wide. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down at the seven. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. Six play, 43 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So our score, 14 nothing. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Rice's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Gets it, he's in space. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle at the 29. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. We've played one. Rice leads it 14-0. more action here in quarter number two. Henderson to punt. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 42. Think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's at midfield, and they make the stop at the 47. to about the 36. And he's tackled 
Bowl after positive yardage. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 10. for the kick. It's fielded at the two. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Fires quickly to the tight end. Brought down around the 42 yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. And now he pitches it. He's at the 40. And he shoved out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. Discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. It's third and eight. Ball on the 30-yard line. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 18-yard line. Fitzpatrick gets a carry right side. He gets out to about the 15 yard line. play of this drive. And 
and he's level at the 26. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. the first down and the ball will change hands. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they push him out around the 37-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 37. his way to the 29-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. Rice is going to use their first time out of the half here. And he's hit immediately. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Fires complete over the middle, and he hits him hard at the 16. Throws complete, he's got space to work. That's a great tackle at the four-yard line. Scrambling, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown! This one has gotten out of hand. Usually, we don't see games get real ugly until the second half, when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. But man, we're still here in the first half, and it's already looking like a blowout. He makes the PAT. So a six-play, 66-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Rice gets set to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two, and he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Feeds it to the back. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Well, folks, we've reached halftime, and unfortunately, this thing is looking like a blowout. Rice is running away with it. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'd like to put this more delicately if I could, but if this were a horse, they would put it out of its misery. This game, is, this game is ugly and, uh, and completely non-competitive. No, one of these teams is not like the other. I mean, one's really good and one's not. And I don't know how to sugarcoat it anymore. Maybe uh, 
Maybe we could say that the second half will be better, but what you've seen so far, you're probably going to get a lot more because I don't see any advantages or anything to take advantage of. One team's just superior in talent, superior in coaching, superior really in every single facet of the ballgame. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back to the action, and we hope the action will even up a little bit here in quarter number three. Taken from the three-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 24. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Clipping. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And he got it to the sophomore. And he is drilled at the 27. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. He's taken down at the 30, so it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Caught enough for the first down. Second and ten. Ball on the 40. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Johnson says he's intended to see on the play. That brings us third and ten. Two times, two times. it to the right good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play Grigsby back to return it he makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line Taking the field again now is the offense. And I got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. Rice comes to the line in complete control in this game. They'll bring him down at the 30 yard line. From their own 30 yard line, second down. Slings it out and it gets tipped. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Great concentration to haul it in. Still on his feet. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. First down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Makes it to the 21.
for the corner inside the 10. He's knocked out of bounds just outside the goal line. First down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. Rice up big right now in this one. Kill, kill. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That is a loss of five on the play. That brings him second and goal. They're at the five. Second down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Scrambling around. Tackle at the four. Joseph only gets about a yard there on the quarterback scramble. That makes it 30 goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Taken down at the two-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. That brings up fourth and goal. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. Kicks away, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he'll return this one from the seven. He got hit hard. The Bobcats are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. Here they come. And a quick throw. And he's immediately tackled. Game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Roger, Roger. Hey, check. Mike 57. Mike 57. If you don't get this boy, you get the ball. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Knocked out of bounds around the 26 yard line. That brings him second and one. Defense wins championships, baby. 57 to Mike. Mark 57. And they'll get him in the backfield. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. A little toss across the middle. And down he goes at about the 21. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. the stop at the 25. That was a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. The Bobcat saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 20. Gaining five on the play. That brings us third and 10. Throws out and through his hands. Davis, 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 Davis. 
Fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Under heavy pressure. Strike to his receiver, no good. They're set to go for another round. Rice up by a big margin. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, Rice leads it 31 to nothing. Folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Black five, black five. He's to the 40. Brought down at about the 45. and 10. Ball on the 45. Quick strike and he drops it. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. Got it on the screen, and he's tackled at the 46-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. Rice looking to build on his commanding lead here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he tackles him hard at the 28. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there, and the defense this time wins the battle. Henderson awaits the snap. Tries to get around the corner. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. The Owls just put on a clinic in this football game. Right? You can say that again, Brad. In every phase, the defense has been outstanding. The special teams have been solid. And how about this offense and the way they've executed? It's allowed them to build up a very big lead. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. They want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Makes it out to about the 50. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just over two minutes in the game. He's at the 40. He makes his way out to about the 35.
try him again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. That brings up second and 13. From the 37-yard line, second down. Jones, the ball carrier, inside the 10. There's another. He's just played the school record for single game rushing yards. He's been rushing with such determination. I think this just goes to show you he's one of the best around. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Seminoles came into the game ranked 10th after the hard-fought loss where the Polsters keep them high in the rankings. And for Georgia Tech, their hot streak continues. And for Franklin, he found Peter twice in this one. The Yellow Jackets take it by five. In other action, we've been looking forward to this one in the Pac-12. And for Arizona, they're looking to win two in a row. The Wildcats have the lead, 14-10. You can feel the shockwaves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Willis fields it at the two. Oh, what a hit. Rice is just not going to let him come for air, I guess. Well, this defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. They've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. We have less than a minute to go. Steps up. He's to the 40, and he hits him hard at the 39. That's good for him. Zips it to the tight end. Good tackle there in space. across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 45. That's a game of 12 on the play. First down. Caught in a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. And so that's going to do it. The Owls take this one. 38 nothing. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.